Recently on Book TV, former Defense Secretary Jim Mattis recounted his military career and offered his thoughts on leadership in a conversation with New York Times columnist David Brooks. Here's a portion of the program. Now in the uh, gruel Greek phalanx, as, as they were preparing for battle, the men were huddled in these covered by their shields, mm -hmm. and they were so terrified you could hear that they could hear each other's teeth chattering. Mm -hmm. Now, have you felt that kind of fear on, in the course of your career, either in the battlefield or somewhere else? Uh, I mean, yeah, absolutely. You feel it. Uh, you're trained to overcome it. <clears throat> um, there's, there's things you can do to overcome it. Your body will also help you. Your mind will help you get through that. It will slow some things down. But uh, the most important, I mean, there's nothing dip strange about fear. I mean, you're, you're, it's going to be there. It's part of every fight. Um, the first time I got shot at, I couldn't taste for three days. You know, scared the hell out of me. <laughs> now, <clears throat> um, but I think that uh, you're, you're well enough trained, but what really drives you forward you know, it, because you're probably going to be very, very tired. It is, I, I cannot even explain to you how tired you get in combat. Some of you in here have been there, you know what I'm referring to. Uh, so the fear is gonna be there coupled with a fatigue that goes beyond words. Um, there's going to be also uh, yeah, just a sense almost at times of doom or an exhilaration going back and forth moment by moment and the adrenaline's pumping, and pretty soon, you know, you're, you're, pretty, you're pretty tired out. You know, it's just there, and anyone can get tired enough that it just doesn't work. But what keeps you going, really, is that affection, that love for one another, that I don't care what happens, I'm not gonna leave him uncovered. So you're back up on your knee firing for your buddy as he goes forward, and the muscle memory kicks in, and the Marines are real good at, at socializing people to that level of commitment when they come in. So. You, you go into a fight with a lot of confidence. Yeah. To watch the rest of this discussion, visit our website, booktv.org. Search for Jim Mattis or the title of his book, Call Sign Chaos, using the box at the top of the page.